Hey everybody, today I want to show you how Unity is stealing your hard drive space. There are a couple things that you might not know about. Now, if you've been using Unity for a while, you might already know that Unity has a relatively large install for every version that you put out there. So if you install a version in the Unity Hub, it's just going to keep adding and adding and adding, taking up more space. Here I've got Winderstat open showing that I have 50 gigs of Unity editors installed, and you can see each version below. This is a free tool that you can just grab online by the way, and it's visualizing all of my installs right there. But this isn't the part that I got surprised by. This was something that I knew about and I'm kind of used to. I have to delete these all the time as I install new versions. What surprised me was the one under users. And then if I go under Jason, because that's me, and then app data, and I think it was under local, yep, Unity, and then cache. Look at that, 30 gigs of cache. Now, why is it so big? Well, if you expand out one of these, let's just go expand one of these folders and go look at burst. Look at all of the versions, because even though I'm deleting out all of those old Unity editor versions, the package cache for all of the old versions of the packages is still hanging around. So what did I do? I'll just delete this folder and right there, and save myself 30 gigs of space. So if you have a big cache folder, you can delete this. I've tried it, I closed Unity Editor, delete the cache, reopen it, and it just seems to re-grab the latest stuff and the ones that it needs. It takes up drastically less space and will, I think, help you. If you've got a small hard drive, you're running out of space or anything, I'm constantly running out of space, it should be useful. So if this was helpful at all, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment below. If you got other interesting little tips like this, drop them in the comments below too. I'd love to do a quick video about them and just share them while this uh, finishes deleting up these files. All right, see you later, bye. Also, if you're into game development, don't forget to check out the Game Programmer course and the Multiplayer Mastery course at Game.Courses. In the Game Programmer course, I'll teach you how to do all of the fundamentals, building a platformer with local multiplayer, multiple levels, and all that kind of fun stuff. And in the Multiplayer Mastery course, we go over different ways to build different types of multiplayer games, including peer-to-peer -peer games, like a racing game. And now we're going on to a top-down extraction game with RPG and fantasy elements, characters that level up. Up and get items and all of the stuff that you would expect to see in that. If that's interesting, just go to game.courses or there's a link down in the description.